Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm here today with the second instalment of my handbag collection. So I've just pulled out another few bags to show you. So I'm just going to get the formalities out of the way for people who hasn't been here on my channel before. Um, I'm Elaine and I, the channel's called Silver Moonlight. I upload um, videos two to three times a week. It's a lifestyle channel, so the videos are, um, you know, they could be anything really. They could be cooking, they could be lots of shop. I do lots of shopping hauls. I do um, fashion try-ons. I do bits of, um, did I say a cooking? <laughs> I can't remember. Um, yeah, just anything to do with the house and home. I, I, I do crafts as well and decor. So if that sounds like something that you like and that you'd be interested in, I would love to have you to stay and, um, and subscribe to my channel. That would be absolutely fantastic. And to all my existing subscribers, I really appreciate all the support that you give me. You know, watching my videos, the co lovely comments that you leave, you know, all the likes everything you know i'm here because of you guys so i'm really really appreciative of all your support and um, so i'm just going to jump in and show you these bags um i probably should have showed this one and on the first in, um installment is it this one oh hang on where is it this one yes this one because this bag it's by radley in the dust bag here and this is where my Radley journey began. <laughs> my Radley bag um, journey, that is obsession. Obsession journey, you choose. <laughs> and it was this bag here. This was a bag. Now, prior to buying um, this bag, I would buy my bags from places like um, Matalan and um, like New Look, you know, places like that. Um, so really inexpensive bags. Pound stretcher as well because pound stretcher was quite big as well. Um, uh, they used to do clothing in there at one point, and uh, it would be just like cheap bags that I'd pick up like that. And I, you know, when I had like my kids' little, it would be a changing bag. Can you remember them guys? What you kept all of your, you know, all the kids' stuff in the baby wipes and nappies, things like that. So I didn't even have a handbag. And sometimes, you know, I had this changing bag which I would just put my stuff in, you know. But um, I trekked myself one day um, to this bag, and I'd never, I'd never been along um, Dalton Park before. But um, I went along. I can't even remember who I was with. One, a couple of my friends. Um, and we went in the Radley shop and I just absolutely fell in love with this bag and it was it was expensive at the time and it was I paid over £100 I think it was actually 126 or £129 I paid for it so that was you know expensive but um, all my bags that I'd been getting from Matalan and places like that the leather was just peeling, you know, like, because it wasn't leather, it was pleather. And the, the wood started to peel and things like that, you know, and the straps were given. They would just look tatty in no time. And I thought, you know, I don't know all them bags that I've had. I probably could have bought this, you know. Because I'm seeing cheap guys and they were about £15, you know, £15, £20 and that. So I, I checked myself to this bag. And you know what? I'm still using it today and I've had it for years. I can't even tell you how long I've had it for. Literally years. Um But this is it here. It's got it's a lovely shape to it. It reminds me of an old fashioned purse, you know, like what my mum would have had. I'm actually keeping a close with a bobble, and that is totally my fault, guys. No fault on the bag at all. It was my fault how I broke this bag. But um, I still use it because I just tie it with a bubble. I, I would love to get it repaired. But uh, the handbag clinic is so expensive. Um, it's probably cheaper to replace the bag than, than get the repair done. But it's this black leather bag and the leather is lovely. You know, it's there's not, not a rip nor a tear nor a scratch. Nothing in it after all these years. It's got like at least, can you see, it's like a little cross and, you know, like little details here. And it's got this... Can you see this ruffle, this frill, frilly ruffle? And as I say, it, it, it opens like a purse, you know, like that. And mind, I don't know what the inside's going to be like, guys, because as I say, I've had it for years and I used it to death. I honestly did. I'm looking to see if there's anything lurking in there. <laughs> but this is the inside of it. And it's got this spotty leather, you know. 
and on this side it's got a zipped pocket and then it's got the two like little pockets to put your phone in but that side's zipped but this side's also zipped as well you know and it's got like the radley dog there on the air inside but it's got a strap i mean it's massive inside you know it doesn't look like that big but honestly you can get absolutely loads in it this is like all metal like a you know this bit it's all metal inside and it just you know clasps shut like that but what's happened on it is it's my my fault but this side here can you see it's um it's snapped the metal is snapped here and it wasn't fastening properly and rather than me just you know look at like have a proper look at it i wasn't i was just keep um altering these i was keep like moving these tighter and tighter you know i saw it would clasp and that as as i was tightening this this was like given here so anyway it, it, it gave you know it snapped so i don't know whether i'll ever be able to get that repaired again but i'm not bothered because i can still use it all i've got to do is put my bubble around the top of it or i can just get a piece of like metal you know like and tie that round there but honestly it's just beautiful the condition of it as i said i haven't even been kind to this one i really haven't i do tend to look after my bags now but this one was a pure work horse you know i used it like um mm. used it for work you know um just for everything really shopping it was just my only bag it was the only bag i had apart from like clutch bags for going out on an evening but this was my only bag and it's um as i say the leather is just that's the bottom of it guys i have not a clue what they call this bag but i know it came in other colors it came in like fuchsia pink and i think it came in like a uh a grey colour maybe I'm sure I saw it in a grey once but these this is wooden the um you know the the little fastener here is wooden and it's got a strap it's not a long strap you can't alter it in any way but um it just fits just on your shoulder or just it just fits like just nice you know at a nice height but I love this bag and I would never ever you know, get rid of it. And as I say, for closing it, all I have to do is just do that, pour a bubble over it, and it keeps it closed. So as I say, this was like £126, like years ago. I dare say you could get maybe this on eBay or somewhere, because people do sell them. There's a vintage, there's eBay, there's all of these, like, you know, uh, pre-loved sites. So you, you possibly could pick a one up on there. So that's where I, Radley journey began and um yeah and it continued <laughs> it continued guys and i'm going to move on to my next bag again it's by radley you know most of my bags by radley because i just i think the real quality bags i just you know the they're just lovely this the stitching everything on them the quality of the leather is just lovely now this i use this quite a lot for dog walking um it's just like a little saddle bag it's in a forest green color i would say that's like a forest green it's just as i say a saddle bag it's got a strap just the one strap which you can alter you can wear it across the body you know um it's not you can't take the strap off you know it's you've it's just used with the strap on at all times so it's just like a flap here but the stitching on it you know it's just immaculate they really are it's got like the radley london here on the back of it it's um just got a pocket at the back you know just there so this is great for putting like doggy bags in you know doggy poo bags when we're out on walks um inside it's got this bit here this pocket front pocket here it's a magnetic closure so it's very easy to close and um, i'll just remove the stuffing from it so you just kind of have a, a look inside so you know how big it is i mean it's not a huge bag but um it's big enough to fit a purse in and a few little bits you know lipstick and stuff but that's the inside of it there and it's got a pocket on this side here just a pocket trimmed with the leather and on this side it's got the zipped pocket and um, again with 
the Radley dog there on it and the lining is this lovely striped lining so guys I'm going to try and see if I can um, see the price on this bag because um, I've possibly kept the bit tag I'll tell you what it's called as well you know because they've all got names so it's called Harper Road this one Harper Road and it was um original price was £169 and I paid £67 for it so for a, a leather bag I think that's really really good price oh and I forgot to point out there as well it's got um the, the straps you can alter them too you know they do have some you know that you can alter and it's got like the little Radley dog here as well on the you know the leather There you go. So it's, it is, it's a beautiful little bargain for £67. I thought that was a bargain. Was it 67 did I say? Um, I'm sure I said it was 67 Yeah, £67. Okay, so my next bag is, you've guessed it guys, it's another Radley. I do have other bags than Radley, but I do have more Radley than any other. But um, it's in this bag here, this quite big dust bag. Uh, this bag is a different colour than this one. It's like a deeper pink. But um, yeah, I'll show you this bag. Now I've just had this one repaired actually. Um, so this is it here and it's like a, what would you say this bag is? Like a biker, a biker chick. <laughs> I don't know. It's got like a biker chick vibe going on, but it's also got like a um, um, like a, um, what's it called? Boho, like a boho vibe, um, tribal kind of look going on as well. It's really, it's quite a versatile bag, really, because you could wear it as if you had a boho outfit on, or if you were wearing like a leather biker's jacket and jeans, you know, having some like um studded shoes. You know, I've got my um. They're not Valentine or rock studs or anything like that. They're uh, the June ones, but they're like studded. And this bag would go lovely with them and some jeans and a biker jacket. But um, it's a, just a lovely little bag from Radley. And the only way you would tell that it's from Radley is the tiny little dog here. You see the tiny little dog? Otherwise you would never know it was a Radley bag. But it's got these tassels, you know, leather tassels hanging from it. And the pull here, the zip, it's got like a, a leather tassel, you know, to pull it along. And it's just got like a, a short handle. But it's, you can use it as a handbag, you know, like that. Um, or you can use it on your shoulder. I wear it on my shoulder. And it comes to just a nice, you know, a nice, like, length on, on my shoulder. I'm just going to try and step back so you can see it's just like a nice lengthy it's a nice you know you can hold it like that and um kind of hook it <laughs> but at the back here it's got um like radley there it's just like a little piece of leather with the radley embossed on there um yeah and the it's in a mock crock leather it's a really pretty bag. I do like it and I do often get comments on it, you know, when I'm using it as well. Um, as I say, I've recently had it repaired and, um, eat, and you know what, uh, I, I went down, um, it's in the town and it's um, opposite. It's it's kind of where the Mowbray Hotel used to be if you're from like this area. And he's a little cobbler, he's called um, Hubbard, his name's Carl Hubbard, and he's been there forever, honestly. And I used to, um, when I when I like worked down there, I used to um, bring my shoes to him on a Friday, and he used to heal them. Can you remember when you used to get your shoes healed back in the day? And he used to heal them and sew them as well. And um, and, and he's really very good. He used to do it while you wait, and I used to love watching him repair my shoes. And I used to have this pair of cream leather boots. And I loved them, absolutely loved them. And um, they would wear, the heel would wear down. And I would, um, I, like, I wouldn't get them healed straight away. I would still wear them, even though I really shouldn't. And each time I took them in, the heel, he was having to, like, cut a little bit off. 
every time and then I brought them in once and he went um he went look he says look a love he says I'm I'm a cobbler I'm just a cobbler he went I'm not a miracle worker <laughs> He says, the hay was that big, it's about that now. And we laughed about it. And I went, it's like, I've never really been in that shop for years. And I went down and I, I told him, I said, hey, I used to come here, you know, when I was like 16, 16, 17, 18, like up into my early 20s. And he used to heal my shoes and boots. And he went, oh, yeah, you know. And um, I says, I've come back. I says, I've got some shoes, some repairs for you to do. So it was nice to support his local business as well. But he did repair this bag for me. He got off gone right waffling on, haven't I? I'm really sorry. But um, it's just a little story, you know. And yes, he's, he's just repaired this for me. I mean, that's, that's what it was like. Um, it's it's a slight different repair, you know, because again, I'd I'd still used it and I'd made worse of it instead of like getting it repaired straight away. I didn't, and it it made it worse. But he's done a good job actually, you know. That's not going anywhere. I can put weight in this bag, you know. It's not going anywhere. He's did a really good repair, and I got um, he was so cheap, bless him. He charged me. Guess what? He healed a pair of sandals for me and this bag he repaired and he, he charged me £9. You know, that's all he was charging me, £9. But um, I just gave him £10. I was really, really like grateful, you know, but, you know, he's, he's, he's really, he's really good. I mean, he's used to dealing with leather all the time. But guys, I, I couldn't tell you what this bag's called, but um, I don't know if you can maybe screenshot it or something. And then, um, you know, you might be able to find it online. It doesn't have an... See, Radley never puts their names inside, unfortunately. And um, I, I think I got this. When I bought it, it was broken. Because um, it didn't come with a dust bag. I didn't get the dust bag with it. Like, I think somebody had took it back or something. I, I really don't know. But um, it was like, when I bought it, you couldn't return it. It was non-refundable, so um. But I, I know I didn't pay much for it. I think I only paid about sixty pound for it, maybe not even that. So I love that bag. And um, moving on, they're not they're not Radley. These last two, these last two are um Aldo actually. So I'll show you this one. Now these are not leather bags. The pleather, but. They're still nice, you know, it's Aldo do boots and shoes and things and, and bags. <laughs> and I, I picked up this one and it, it's a really nice bag. It's got this like, can you see, like a rattan waffle kind of um, closure here. And this, I love the strap, it's just a, a beaded strap. It's really, really nice. It's got the gold hardware and it's got this like band that runs through the bag i'll just show you can you see it runs all the way through the bag and round the back is the, the branding with aldo here so that's the only branding on it um and then it, it's just a magnetic closure it's got it's lovely colors because there's tan there's beige and there's white going on so it matches like quite a few outfits and it is quite neutral it's got a strap like a, a shoulder strap so you can wear a crossbody if you want to as well and that's in the tan colour inside again I've got the stuffing inside so inside it's just got the two pockets here and on this side it's got the zipped pocket as well can you see that it's got a zip pocket and it's got like the Aldo branding on there and it's just got like a little zip I mean you can see the qualities like nowhere near you as good as the um the Radley but it's still you know this this bag was like 20 pound so for 20 pound you know it's a nice little bag it's a decent size it's um going out to the pub bag going out the beer garden you know um and as I say, for £20, I think that's, that's you know, fine. I bought it from TK Max, guys. But they do have them on the Aldo website as well. So my next bag is again from Aldo. And it's this little one here. 
and again this is like a beige colour bag so quite a neutral bag um, this is detachable as well it's like a tortoise shell it's got like a, a you know a strap that you can hold here and this is totally detachable so you can have like two looks you can either have have that on or you can clip this off now watch I'm gonna have a right problem trying to clip it off oh there I'm just I'm not gonna totally clip it off but you can have it like that as well just like a plain one but I do like this on it does ha add a little bit of interest doesn't it and I do like the tortoise shell um, of it you know the tortoise shell train train chain it's got the Aldo here branding and it's got it on the back as well so the back's pretty plain and that's the brand in there inside is a strap you know so you can wear it like a crossbody or sh on your shoulder and it's um it's interesting the strap i guess because it's part chain here and then it goes into like the leather and that's adjustable as well the strap's actually adjustable and inside can i get rid of the stuffing out and then i can show you the inside it's actually two compartments inside of this one so you've got this compartment here and it's got the zip in a pocket and then here there's another compartment and it's got the two pockets for your, you know your bits or your mobile phone so that's I know Emma has got Emma's got like quite a lot of bags same as me because we'll go shopping together you know me end up buying the same things <laughs> but that's it there guys and again, I, I think this one's on the Aldo side, but I bought this from TK Max, and this was £20. So, you know, the nice little bags for £20. I'm not going to break the bank. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the second instalment of uh, my handbag collection. Um, I'll be back with the third one uh, next week, and I hope you'll join me for that one. So, guys, if you're not already um, subscribed, I would love to have you um, click that button and subscribe to my channel. And until the next time, guys, stay safe, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Bye.